10th NFL franchise tag deadline quickly approaches. While multiple sources indicate Dallas was going to apply the tag to Dak, CBS Sports reports they will instead use the tag on Amari while looking to strike a deal with Dak for six years or longer. Greg Jennings, should the Cowboys go short or long term with Dak Prescott? Um, I think the Cowboys should go long term. When you look at what they've said in the past, they've wanted to marry he and Ezekiel Elliott together and make sure that their careers kind of go along the same path and they grow together and they win together, if you will. And that's what they want, would like to do. If I'm Dak Prescott, I look at the guys that have gotten paid. I look at the guys who've signed their contracts at my position and I'm like, absolutely not. The ideal contract year count would be around four years, four to five years. Everyone, you look at Carson Wentz, four-year deal, uh, Russell Wilson, four-year deal, Aaron Rodgers, four-year deal, Jared Goff, four-year deal. So it's for him to sign a six-year or long t long-term deal, it's, it's so many ways you can manipulate that, those numbers in that contract when you're looking at that type of a player. You can backload it, you can front load it, and then the, the money that you have guaranteed up front, it's great right away, but then once you get to the back end of that contract, then what are those numbers looking like? And so we all wanted to laugh kind of at, or I shouldn't say laugh, we all kind of was uh, shocked at a guy like Kirk Cousins' deal, which was three years, but he's getting the last yeah. laugh right now because he's winning. Right. And so when you look at guys in, in Dak Prescott's situation, should they go long? Yes, the Cowboys, because if you know what you want, try to lock it up. You got your coach in a five-year deal. You want your quarterback to be married to your coach as well. So why not try to get him in a five-plus-year deal and then you have that going forward, you have it solidified, and you can start to plug, plug and play and I realize what it is we need outside of just that quarterback position. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do it if I'm the Cowboys. I got some advice for Jerry Jones. This is what you should do. Use the Kirk Cousins who you brought up. Use his blueprint. Uh, franchise tag Dak for the next two years, right, each year. And then at that point, you can make a decision. I'm not giving 37, so you're, you're 37 million the dollars. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not, I'm not giving 30, 37 million dollars <laughs> to a to a top 15 quarterback who's not worth that money. That's why there's a hesitation. That's why they went out and gave a running back the highest paid contract for a running back before they even paid their quarterback. Most teams just don't do that. If you have a guy you really believe in, Greg, you would have signed this guy and just said, I'm putting this to rest, putting this to bed, let this guy know he's our guy, and they just haven't done that because they're not willing to give him 37 or whatever it is that's the current going rate. And if I'm Dak, why should I take less? Everybody else, when they sign those deals, the money keeps going up. But you want me to go backwards when everybody else, Jared Goff, everybody else got a bigger deal, but you're asking me to take less. So what does that say to me? That you don't really, do you really want me? Are you really trying to make me happy? So I'm just saying, if you're not convinced and you're the Cowboys, then, then go to, there was something in there that the Redskins saw all the way through, Greg, that they never, because Kirk Cousins had some success with them. They went to the playoffs a couple times. He put up some decent numbers, but they never bought in. They never wanted to make a deal with him and give him the money that he should have got, considering that Redskins organization had been putrid and hadn't done anything until those couple of nice years that he had. You need to stop it with this Kirk Cousins comparison. Why? Because it was so clear. Kirk Cousins had big numbers. It was numbers. so clear that Washington did not believe in Kirk Cousins. And it was clear to everybody else, too. Because he didn't win big games. Yes. Whether they were against Dak good teams. Dak didn't win big games last let, let year. Let me finish. Whether they were against good teams or whether they were just on Monday night or Sunday night football or something. He didn't win those big games. Dak has won big games. Dak has been to the playoffs two out of four years with the Cowboys. With Tony Romo, the great Tony Romo, they made the playoffs one time in the six years before he got there. So Dak has won. He beaten Russell Wilson in the playoffs. Dak has won more what games. In the playoffs last Dak year? has won more games than any quarterback not named Tom Brady or Russell Wilson since he entered the league. The reason Dallas is hesitant, I get it. He's not a top five quarterback, and they don't want to make him the highest paid quarterback in the league. That doesn't mean they don't like him. They know he's their franchise guy. Otherwise, they wouldn't be talking about six years. I'm with Greg though. I wouldn't do six years if I'm Dak unless 
I'm going to get a higher annual salary and unless I'm going to get a bigger guaranteed salary in my signing bonus. So if I'm Dak, then now we're talking about $40 million. If you want six years, it better average $40 million a year because I know the cap is going up. This is what makes it complicated, the Amari Cooper aspect, right? Amari Cooper, they give up a first-round pick to the Raiders for Amari Cooper. And now he says, well, I got to get paid. So if you franchise tag Dak, you got to make Amari a top five paid receiver. Greg Jennings, I know you're a receiver. I'm not going to. I don't want to pay Amari Cooper that. So I would tag him and I would actually pay Dak Prescott. I don't think I would go six years, but uh, Rob Parker, I know you're so not if in you're on Dallas. That. You wouldn't go six. I would not. Because if mean, you go six, if you're no. Dallas, like Greg said, I, I think eventually that contract's not going to be that. Much. If I say to Dak, hey, man, we'll give you 37 for the next three. And then, you know, then I tag Amari Cooper. I bring the band back. Guys, you know I do a lot of gambling stuff for FS1. The Cowboys right now are 12 to 1 to win the Super Bowl. Fourth best odds in the league, tied with the Patriots and Saints. A lot of people believe in Dak. I know you don't. No, a lot, a lot of, lot of gamblers uh, in Vegas is saying Dallas is a threat with Dak Cooper. They picked them to go to the Super Bowl this past year, and they didn't even make the playoffs. And against teams over 500 or bet 500 or better, Dak was two and seven. He went to Philadelphia and didn't even throw a touchdown in, against a, a beat up Eagles team with the division on the line. All I'm saying is there are question marks. You can talk about all those wins. They should have won the division last year. They have by far more more talent uh, to, to be able to. Giants were bad. Eagles were beat up. They couldn't even win the division. That is a, is a reason to pause when, when Dak isn't good against some of the better teams. He piled up numbers against some of the worst teams in the league. We saw the first three games of the year. Uh, the Dolphins were awful. The Giants were awful. The Redskins were awful. He did great against those teams. Where, where, was the, where was the great play would, when it mattered? It wasn't there last year. I would agree with all of that if their coaching were better. Yes. But because their coaching was in question going into this season, going into the, before last season, and for the last three years their coaching has been in question, I can't give you that. So the and two divisions seen, they won with the same coach listen, you're saying now that listen, didn't matter. Listen. No, they, you're saying that. What, what they did, what I do see and what I did see was a Dak Prescott get better when they put talent around him. Mm -hmm. And that talent was Amari Cooper. So, yes, I would tag Amari Cooper yes. because as a receiver, you can, you can find those guys, yes. regardless of how I feel about it. You can find a lot more receivers than you can quarterbacks. And you feel like you have your quarterback. You can't just let him walk out the door. You have to lock him up and then make sure that I at least have something there for him. And that something is Amari Cooper because we've seen Dak Prescott and his level of success go skyrocket when Amari Cooper is in that lineup consistently. I know you don't like it, Rob, but for the body of work, all 16 games, Dak Prescott statistically was a top five quarterback in the league. I, and you can't just say he beat up bad teams because the full schedule, you know, included the Patriots, the Eagles. They played a tough schedule. They didn't that's, make the playoffs. Uh, you but could, but wait a minute. Fault, Rob. Yeah, yeah, but Are you, you really you, pinning it all out, on Dak Prescott? I'm just saying, you're throwing out all those stats. If he was that good, how did, how did they not make the playoffs if your quarterback played that I mean, well? Listen, Matt I'm Stafford is a good quarterback. I'm asking ben you. Ben Roethlisberger, so many good quarterbacks. You have to have a team in football. This isn't the NBA where one or two guys can get to When you go to Philadelphia and your quarterback doesn't throw a, a touchdown in the biggest game of the year, you're going to tell me that. Well, listen, what Amari was that? Cooper, that was the defense? What? Amari was that Cooper's throwing him out himself out of the fourth quarter. That was the defense. That's why they lost Did that you game. blame Carson Wentz when Philadelphia had a losing record two years ago with him and then Nick Foles takes and turns him around? Did you blame Carson Wentz? What do you mean? Did I blame him? I don't. I don't. I don't. What do you mean? Just like you're blaming Dak Prescott. I'm just for telling. Dallas I'm giving you the number. Did At you two blame? Seven are you, you going to answer my question? Better. I don't know. Or just I don't, not. I, don't, I don't know what you mean. Did you blame Carson Wentz I don't for Philadelphia's I, problems when they were losing? Did I? I don't. I don't remember what the what the, the uh, whole season was. The defense. I can't. They give were you that. losing when Carson Wentz was there on pace not to make the playoffs. And Nick Foles steps in and leads them to the playoffs. Did you blame Carson Wentz when they lost? Probably. Yes. I don't remember. I'm telling you, I'm being honest. I don't remember sitting there having a conversation. You did. That is Carson Wentz. I'm on the radio thing. with you every day. No, you I don't did remember not that. Blame Carson I don't Wentz. Remember that. That's why I say I want consistency. So listen, the defense was not very good. Every game the Cowboys scored 31 points or more, they won. 
when Dak and the offense, 31 or more Most points. Most teams in the NFL, you scored right. 31 The defense did not always show up, Rob. The defense didn't show up last year. That's a fact. But Look at to, it. To Jason's point, you're not scoring 30 or more points without a quarterback without a that quarterback. can get it done. Yeah, but who are you scoring the 30 points against? I don't want to hear yes. that. Yes, it see, does see, matter, see, Greg. No, no, this is, this, does. Is, this goes back to the the Warriors didn't have KD. Uh, Kawhi beat a banged up. T- like I, that, It goes back to who's on the field. I'm not, in, I'm not concerned with who I have to play. I'm concerned with how I play. Who I play... Did Dak play well against Philadelphia with the division on the line? He did his part. Okay. He Where did his they? part. Like, they had a chance to win that game. No touchdowns. Okay, he did his part. That, that's fine. Zero. That's fine. Okay. I get it. You want, him to, you want him to light up the scoreboard because he didn't do that all year. He didn't do it against good teams. He did it. Go look at the breakdown. Yes. Oh, you can put up numbers. I told you when the Patriots were 8 0 last year, it was the worst 8 0 team I'd ever seen. They didn't beat anybody, and they struggled when they played better teams. That Tom Brady, that 12 and 4, it was fraudulent. There was, that, that wasn't they beat real. Buffalo twice. It wasn't real. Buffalo made the playoffs. Okay, Buffalo Look, wasn't every, They made the playoffs. People were saying that the Packers were fraudulent. Where were they? What do you mean? People were saying they were fraudulent with the way they played. I, I, they I, ended I, up in the NFC I mean, touchdowns game. did Aaron Rodgers throw against the 49ers? I don't, I don't have that. Half. I don't I don't know what the I'll tell you, have. zero. Okay. Since you, you like this Did he have none? Zero. Did he have, did he have none for the half, game? When it was did he game? have none in the game? Yeah, he stat passed. The division, like the division was on the he line in Philadelphia it. against a beat-up team. And Dak couldn't even lead them to a win in that game. The thing I can't believe here, he will not even mention Jason Garrett's name. It's like he's irrelevant to all this. Jason Garrett won two out of three, two of the last. What three did he divisions. do last year? I'm what did Jason asking. Garrett in every big game last year? Was, was Jason Dak Garrett Prescott was there? Out there? Boneheaded what? calls. Was Dak Prescott yeah, there? Yeah, but Jason Garrett was there too. You can't use it <laughs> he and gives say that Jason he wouldn't do anything. Credit and not Dak, and now he blames Dak. And no, not I'm Jason. just saying you can't, can't you can't, can't have it both ways. Okay. That's all I'm saying. All right, some people in the NBA really believe the Lakers have zero chance to. 